Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make piston chests which take a regular piston and allow you to store items inside of it. So let's press the button and teleport over to the storage area. You can see here we have some iron, some diamonds and gold and in the ground we have our piston chests. So we can see the piston, we can also see the chest as well which looks really cool. However when we right click on this nothing happens at all. So what we have to do to access the chest is press the button on the wall so that the piston will extend like that and then we can access the chest which is actually a minecart chest. So we can do that for each of these and then when we're done accessing the chest we just press the button on the wall again, the piston goes back down and it makes that cool animation there as well. So unfortunately there is a downside to the piston chest, we can't actually control how it looks. You can see here on the left we have the chest on the top and on the right hand side we just have the regular piston head and both of these I think would be valid for people who wanted to build these however I'm unable to force it to appear with one or the other and you can see on the right here there is still a minecart chest inside but you can just see uh, the piston top and not the chest and so as well as not being able to choose which one you want to build I've been unable to predict which one it will show you as well so you can see over here we have an 8x8 area and what I did was rebuilt one of these on each and every single one of those blocks and for every time that I got a chest in the minecart like that I put down a green wall and for every time we just got the normal piston head I put down a red one so there's no clear pattern or way to predict what one you would get as well which is unfortunate but anyway I'm going to continue and show you how to build this and if anyone finds out how to force one of them or finds out any more information on how to do this then I can update it in the description box as well so you might want to check that and see if there's any new information on how to do that. So to build this you need to start off with a solid block with a piston on top and this is very important because if you don't have a solid block here and then the minecart chest will simply fall through the piston um, into the space below. So you need a solid block and you need solid blocks all around your piston and then you're going to need to place a solid block on top of the piston as well with a minecart track and the minecart chest and then you just remove it like that. Then up here you need to go up and place a block above the minecart chest. So you can see there is two blocks space between uh, the piston and the block that we have here and then you need to place three blocks on top of that, remove the middle two and then place two downwards facing pistons like this, remove the block on top and then you need to power the piston at the top. Once you've done that you can actually remove that then come down here and you'll need to power the block with the piston so we're then going to push the minecart chest up into the block above like that and then we go back up here and we power that piston and it pushes down back onto that block there and that's all that you need to do. Now there's this moment where the minecart will rest like this for a while and after about 10 to 15 seconds it will just drop back down into the piston. Okay it's now dropped back down into the piston you can see that this one has a chest on top now sometimes it will appear with a chest on top just for one or two seconds and then it will go to the normal piston head if it is of that type. If we just flip this up and down you can see we've got one here with the chest on top and so if you wanted to make the button and the T flip flop for that like you saw in the demonstration over there that's really simple you need to place down a block over here and then put down a comparator facing into that one so that one will then power the piston then we need a block up here we're going to put a button on the side of that so we'll just grab one of those and put that there and then place a torch on that block place two more blocks down here and put hoppers that face into each other so I'm shift clicking onto that hopper there so it faces into it and we'll do the same thing there then you need to put a dust on that one and simply put an item in here and you can see we now have a T flip flop to control the piston so that is pretty much everything you need to know about the piston chest if you are thinking of going into a test world and trying out some different blocks below it well I've already done that so I'll share with you my results if you use soul sand underneath the piston the minecart chest will sink down into it and then it will be completely inaccessible from the piston whether it is open or closed if you use a fence post underneath that piston block the minecart is going to appear even higher than it does here so you'll actually see the hitbox coming out of the piston which looked really ugly and it was inaccessible as well and then if you put a minecart chest uh, sorry just a regular chest or an enchanting table underneath then the minecart chest will simply sink down into that block and it won't be accessible um, from above whether the piston is open or closed so if you want to download this map there will be a link in the description box it will have everything that you see here and if you want to put a like on this video it is much appreciated so thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time